Wiggle Wiggle. Like. Welcome back to the channel guys, today we are going to talk about Player Unknown Battlegrounds, a title released by the Korean studios Blue Hole that was released in March 2017. Since it was released on Steam, the community is backing this game 100%. By the time I'm recording this video, it has already passed the 100,000 positive reviews just on Steam. Player Unknown Battlegrounds, or Battlegrounds for short, is a game about staying alive while killing your competition. The purpose of the game is to be the last man standing in the end of the match. Now, you can achieve that by playing solo, duo, or with the team up to 4 players. Playing with the team of 2 or 4, the objective remains the same. You, or one of your team members, needs to be the last man standing by the end of the match. Let's now talk about the gameplay and how the game unfolds to the player. Before you start the match, you are put in a lobby for one minute with the rest of the players you're gonna play against. While you're waiting for that minute, uh, all the weapons in-game are available for you on small tables that you can use to practice and to warm up before the match starts. After the lobby phase is complete, you find yourself inside a plane flying over the massive land that will be your battleground. So now that you pick a spot, and you arrive safely on the ground, it's very important that you take these few seconds to grab a weapon and kill anything that moves before it kills you. Let me now explain you how the developers managed to funnel all the players into a single area of the map. After landing, you are in a safe area. Above your minimap, you're gonna have a clock counting down. Normally, it's between four and five minutes. Now, if you open your map, you're gonna see a huge white circle. That will be the safe zone for your match. Keep in mind that every match, the white zone or the safe zone changes. So before you run out of time, make your way there, either on foot or use one of the many vehicles provided by the game. Motorbikes, buggies, jeeps, Dacia, kind of a sports car for the game, or you can even sail there by using a boat. Now keep in mind that if you fail to arrive to a safe zone before the time runs out, a blue force field will start shrinking the area that are available for the players in-game. And what this means is that if you get touched by it, you get damage over time. And the last thing you want is to have that really nice loot and instead of killing players, you end up getting killed by the force field. From personal experience, when I started playing this, I really didn't pay attention or didn't know how that force field worked and I died a couple of times because of it. So play near it or if possible on it if you are new to the game, it's going to be much easier for you to succeed. Also, from time to time on a map, you'll see big red circles on it. What this means is that bombs will be drop on those sides. So my advice is for you is to find cover until it ends. Okay, let me now share some information or some tips that I wish I knew when I start playing this game. And tip number one, change your fire rate. You can do that by pressing B on your keyboard. The last thing you want is having an AK or an M4, you have someone at close range and you have single mode selected. So always keep in mind, pick a weapon, reload it and after change the fire rate. And tip number two will be press shift to hold your breath. This is very important when you're aiming down sights and can make the difference between killing or get killed. Now tip number three. When you click Alt and you move your mouse, you have access to the free movement camera. This is very useful when you want to peek around the house or look inside of it without exposing your body or making any noise that will alert nearby enemies of your position. Now let me quickly explain how the healing process works in this game. You have four healing methods in this game, two immediate and two over time. The immediate ones are the medicates and the bandages, but keep in mind that they will only heal you until 85% of your full HP. To receive the full health bar, you'll need to use either the painkillers or the sodas. Now that I explain how the healing methods work in the game, I'm gonna give you another tip how to get a small movement boost. And this is how you're gonna achieve that. Whenever you take two overtime healing drinks, either the painkillers or the soda, it doesn't matter how you combine them, but you need to take two of them. 
and the way you can check if it's active or not is above your health bar and below your weapon display you're gonna see a small orange bar. When the speed boost is active you'll see a small icon of a man running. Now you are inside the car and you want to change seats so you press control and the buttons 1, 2, 3, 4 for that to happen. And now the last tip I think I can give you guys is for driving. Whenever you are inside the car and you want to go faster, if you press the shift button, it will boost the speed of the vehicle you are using. Now let me tell you my final thoughts and in my opinion if this game is worth spending your money or not. I have been playing this game for a while now and I have a blast while doing it, either solo, with friends or by queuing with other random players. Graphic wise we need to keep in mind that this game is still on beta and of course the developers almost every week uh, optimize and create new content for it a new map will be released really soon with the desert team on it so if last man standing is your game of choice this title is money well spent that's all for me for today i hope to see you on the battlefield and if you enjoyed the video leave a like or drop a comment since your feedback is very important share on your social media and subscribe for more content every week I'll see you all next time. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.